Well, hello, Coffee Time friends. Welcome to Southern Sunday Lunch. Come on into our kitchen, get you a seat. We'll get you a cup of coffee. We'll get started. We're having a delicious lunch today. Um, Mama's fixing baked chicken, and I'm whooping up some dressing right quick. And uh, we're going to be ready to eat because I've got a lot of prep done. Y'all know how to cut up and chop up, and I could have used my chopper, but I just sat down here and grabbed this knife and went to work because that's what I normally do. This is a stock and a half, two stalks of celery, and I'm going to finish this off. Those are wonderful to put in your dressing, folks. Don't throw those away. I'm going to finish up this little bit of apple, but this is onion and celery and a little bit of granny smith. Open. Put it there. Okay. This is a little bit of Granny Smith apple. Now, we don't normally put apple in our dressing at Thanksgiving. But on a Sunday in August, if you want to have dressing, that's a good time to put some apple or try something you've heard of or something new. So occasionally, if it ain't Thanksgiving, we'll add a little apple or something to our dressing just to make it a little different or to give it a little flavor. But now on Thanksgiving, I do not want to mess around with. I want it to be the old tradition of what we've always done. I don't want to burn Look you here. Anybody recognize that roaster? All y'all had one of them. All your grandmas had one. Look at there, folks. Maggie caught a crow this morning. We're having it for lunch. Oh, sure. <laughs> it's, a, it's like three and a half pounds. A little chicken. Little chicken. And I'm gonna pour this broth off of it in there. Make that dressing. In here. Good and rich. All right. Don't get burnt, Mom. Because this is just chicken broth. Because we put nothing, nothing in it. Uh, butter. Butter. I mean, butter, salt, and pepper, and sage. But I'm saying we didn't put water. We didn't put no kind of soda. Nothing. Just the, the chicken. Plain old chicken. And look at that richness. Now I'm telling you that. You can smell the delicious. And that is so tender. It's oh, it's falling off the bone, Mama. I put it on now this looks like This I started housekeeping over there. And how long ago was that, Mama? 12, uh, 15 years ago? Yeah, Addie's like 40 or 50. No, about 52. Mom, let's tell me how pretty you look today. And let's talk about those beautiful earrings. Oh, I've got to get those others. So and this beautiful show. mug. One of y'all sent us this mug. Mom's going to get the name. Mine <laughs> says, uh, it takes a big heart to shake little minds. Oh. I'm assuming that's for Sunday school class. <laughs> Shaping little minds. Them babies. You gotta teach them babies. We had a bunch of babies this morning at church. It was so wonderful, little minds. You know, they're just little absorbing minds. They well, they absorb everything that you put out there. When you get that on, we'll talk about. Well, what's her name? Uh... Pamela, what is it? Mama's looking it up. I can't see it after I got it. I got my readers on. Well, I'm having a heck of a time with me because I ain't doing it right. I got to figure the cutting board just right. Now, into this, I just put a, a medium white onion. Um, I put two medium-sized Granny Smith apples. And that's got about uh, two stalks of celery, I guess. But I'm gonna add the rest of this. That'll give tons and tons of flavor. These leaves, folks, are packed full of flavor. They don't hurt a thing. I know a lot of people just chop them off, throw them in the garbage. These leaves are celery. And these leaves taste wonderful. I sometimes save my leaves if I'm going to know I'm going to make soup, especially in the winter, I hardly ever throw away celery leaves because um, I'll keep them in a the fridge smart in there forever. Um, because I know I'm going to need that flavor. And this little heart of celery, it may not be the prettiest green part, but it is a beautiful, flavorful part. Use those leaves in your celeries, your soups, dressing, chicken casseroles. Anytime you need celery, if you're going to cook it, use the leaves. Now, I don't know if I would want celery and leaves with my pimento cheese or something, 
But I'm eyeing because I've not tried it. Even this little part right here, that's a little white, y'all. That is so flavorful and so full of goodness. It's the tenderest part of the celery. I can't. And right in there, it's going to go. I'm going to have to get rid of it. I don't make my food match this. And I'm just going to chop up. Well, no, there's radish right there in the drawer right there. On the, yeah. You this need readers, there's readers. These are uh, this mug and these, and this earrings I've got on goes here. And didn't she make you something else, a necklace? Uh, earrings, I wore them before. Oh, other earrings she sent you? Mm. I try not to guess at names anymore. I have guessed before and got them wrong. I think, I think those are from, and then maybe it was the wrong gift, and I try to just be sure before I do that anymore. You don't want to hurt someone's feelings. You want to be let them know you're thankful, so thankful. Mama loves these earrings. She's worn them several times. Not these. I just got no, I mean, these. The ones that she had before that are yeah. worn also. So this is the mixture, we're gonna put this in the microwave. This is a can of creamy chicken soup, a, um, about a pint of broth that we had boiled some chicken in the other day, and then that broth out of that chicken we cooked just now, um, a medium onion, two stalks of celery, and two green smith apples. Now like I said, the apples are a new addition to our dressing. Not the first time I've had it, it's just a new addition that we're showing you all. Uh, because I have had it before. It's the poultry season. Where did you say you seen the sage last? Uh, it's right up there. I'll get it. This is poultry season. You don't have to have poultry season and sage. Now I covered the top. I covered the top of mine. And that's why I measure. If you ever get a recipe from me that says cover the top with the season. That's I figure if it covers that it'll cover the dish um, and right here I've got cornbread and pone bread and I already crumbled it up this is the pone bread on top this is the pone bread big old pone of biscuit bread salt and, pepper in that. and this is the cornbread you used a lot of it didn't I did mama well we had a little bit of the pone bread for breakfast let me get some sage, blood and sage. And we'll be right back over there. I just ain't tall enough to reach it, so. Well, it's so small. It really is hard to get in here to get it. I've got basil and I've got cinnamon. Got everything but sage. I know you said you was in that cabinet. You found the sage. Yeah, I've got it right here. I was just getting to it. These cabinets weren't made for reaching and grabbing. They're made for digging and plundering. All right, so I've got the sage. Y'all checked out the cornbread now? <laughs> <laughs> you left them on cornbread. Well, I knew better to leave them on you, Mama. Oh, yeah. But it's still be looking at cornbread. This is just rubbing sage. Whoa. And I'm putting about a tablespoon in there. So that's all there is in there, folks. And I'm going to get some uh, clear wrap. Put right over top of it. It will dome up. It'll cook up. And it'll be perfect. Let's get this all blended in. Mama's getting the Got the cling wrap over here, and we're gonna get this cooking on the road. This is the easiest way I've ever found to do dressing, and we've done it this way for many years. You can put this on the stove top. Don't think you can, but it just takes a little while longer, and you just have to start make sure it's not going to stick, and you know it boils over sometime, and all those things. If you if you're into that kind of thing. Then use that stove top. If you just like to set it and forget it, put this in there for eight minutes, and uh, you've got dressing. Just cut it. Can you cut it? Oh, yeah. I get it on edge over here. I'll get it. There you go. You're good. Just pull this right over here. 
Now I just put it on there good and tight like this. Just good and tight. And we're ready to go. Give it a seal around the top. And that's it. In the microwave that goes. And it will be delicious and it will cook in about eight minutes and be absolutely delicious. And then we'll put over this bread. If we have too much, I've got plenty of bread to add it to. The only other thing we're gonna do is make our gravy. We're making our packs today. We're using a pack of chicken and a pack of pork. That's the secret to a good brown gravy, whether you're using it on beef, or whether you're using it on pork, or whether you're using it on chicken. Mix your pork in your chicken gravy. That is the secret to KFC's gravy, when you do the copycat anyway. I've never made the real stuff, but I've made a bunch of the copycat. It was just some wheel, because that was the chicken stuff. Or the gravy. I've never made it, the real, but I've made plenty of the copycat. And it's got a, you put a, a beef bouillon and a chicken bouillon, or a pork bouillon and a chicken bouillon. You mix the two. You can use beef or pork, but it's mixed. We love it that way anyway, don't we, Mom? Yeah. It's, it's Mama and John approved. I don't know if anybody else approves it or not. I think they do, according to the national the way people eat it. Everybody likes a little gravy. Mama's over here spraying, Mama. Be careful that it'll spray on the floor. Yeah. Don't want you strip, slip, sliding. these packets are hard to get the stuff out of. Why? We like to use pork and chicken together. Whether we're having beef <laughs> or pork, we usually do pork gravy and chicken gravy together and just follow your package instructions. Uh, and you don't necessarily double everything. So the instructions here says to empty the pack mix uh, into sauce, blend in one cup of water, bring to a bowl, stir consciously and re constantly and reduce. So I'm going to put about, well, Mom's got me two cups here. I'm going to put about a cup and a half. About a cup and a half. Cause it'll be good and thick. See how pretty it looks? The chicken and the pork together makes a beautiful gravy. Now that's it. All you gotta do is just let that come to a boil and that's ready to eat. Then get rid of this and this and this. And these crumbs. A little bit of celery. I guess that's red crumbs. So what are y'all fixing today? What's on your menu? Anybody have anything different? Anybody have any, is anybody having the same thing we're having? Anybody else having baked chicken and dressing? It's good. Let's come on down here and drink some coffee. Because we got a minute. Not a whole lot of time, but we got a few minutes. Because that up there has got to cook for about eight minutes. You put that mixture of the chicken gray or the cream of chicken soup. You can get, like today would be a good day to try cream of mushroom soup. If you like cream of mushroom soup. Mama don't like cream of mushroom soup, so we won't try that. But it's good and dressing. I've had it before. The apple and the mushroom is good together. I just got on um, looking forward to seeing what is for Sunday lunch. Jean, Jan, we're having baked chicken, homemade cornbread dressing, and gravy out of a packet, and some cranberry sauce, mashed potatoes, and green beans. Mama, what are you making? 
And peach tea. Mama's we making peach tea. Didn't have enough? No. We just take just a little bit left from yesterday. Well, Mommy, gonna show them how you're going to make your tea. Yeah. Come over here and make them some. This is so easy to make. Two cups of sugar in here. May not be two whole cups, but it's I've got the sugar thing. We put our sugar in, we put our ice in, and then we pour the the tea in. Mm -hmm. Whatever's left in the pitcher, we finish it up with water. That's our recipe. Now I think y'all puts the sugar in later. But you know, we don't we go with, we change the recipe around. Here comes the ice. And there's a line in there that tells you where to put the ice. I guess this is one of my favorite things is you can make it now and it's good for lunch. We never was used to doing that before. You either got your tea made the night before or. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now all we do is wait for the tea. Uh, to get ready to boil, and then it's let it, boiled, but it's not quite as smooth It's nine See? minutes. You don't let it come to a hard, hard boil. You let it get ready to boil and put your bag in there, and then it's nine minutes. It lacks three minutes. Mama does a little reverse order. She lets it come to a boil, and then when the bubbles settle down, it simmers. Then she puts. She knows it's good. Then she puts her tea bag in there and lets it sit for nine minutes. It's easy. Anybody can make that. Okay. So we got a little time to chat. Uh, yummy, Selena says. Mama looks so beautiful in her outfit today, Nikki said. Mama, you did. Well, we could talk to them about our gifts and our birthdays and stuff and cards probably. Okay, get your stuff here. Let's see. What That's, does this say? Yeah, and I've got on one pair of the earrings. And she so said, is this the lady that sent the mm -hmm. earrings? Yeah. Okay, so Miss Schwartz, God bless y'all. Mama looks like you got plenty of your rings. Here's yeah, some crosses. She sent Mama four. That's little crosses. Can you see them? Beautiful. I guess I would call these green. Yes. Y'all know Mama's birchstone is that right there? Green. Yes, it is. And then these beautiful. I'm gonna call these. Just because I don't know any better and I'm not a jeweler, I'm gonna call these like cracked marble or something. See how pretty they are? They're, it looks like you little. Buy that with anything, anything. Yeah, it's like little cracks. Crazed, if it was found. And these beautiful earrings. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> she's got a whole letter here. I won't read all of it, but she's talking about. Um, the cup is yours. The cup was mine, she said. Because she knows I have to have a big old cup to drink coffee over. Mmm. And her name, it says over here, love and thanks, Pamela Schwartz. Pamela, we appreciate you. I saw and you wear the blue floral earrings. She makes these, this one. There's yeah, it's amazing. Picture. And I've got the other blue, but they've got silver. Several of y'all have sent Mama handmade jewelry, and she loves it. Yeah, she loves beautiful. it. Beautiful. Mama loves anything with thought, and these are all beautiful. Thank you, Miss Pamela. And this, Beautiful. I think this is the tea. I, this tea. On the package, I didn't see the name unless it's on that gift. Someone sent us some tea. Happy birthday, Mama. And I oh, this is the California guy, as we call it. Oh, well, let me get <clears throat> Thank you, guys. Um, they wrote me and said, be watching. They had already had been delivered. So here it is. Mama had told me she got some tea, but I hadn't seen this okay, just now. This is, I've washed this. So it's Look how wonderful this little thing is. This is like a child's toy. You could play with this all day long. Uh, you, I've seen these before, but never on a stick like this. So this is some, I, I can't tell you how good these smell. I opened these up and I just sat and smelled them because they're so, they're so fresh. 
Oh, these are just little teas, English afternoon tea. Mama will use every one of these. Now, that's what Mama loves. It's a good tea of the morning or afternoon you want. You put your dry tea in here, and then you twist this little thing right here, just like this, and it completely locks. Look, it completely locks. And you put your tea in your cup and you stir it around. Makes for a wonderful cup of tea. Mama's washed this, it's gonna have to dry out good. But you got afternoon tea, you got English tea. Look at these cute little mother boxes. Mama will hot glue a hook on these and put these on her Christmas tree. Don't think you won't see them again, because you will. Uh, don't think you won't see them year after year after year because she will cherish them. Look at Big Ben. Big Ben is English breakfast tea. He smells a, a little different than the others. Wonderful. Um, let me get him open. Well, no, he's not the one. Here, this is English breakfast tea as well. So this and this is the same. I thought I knew I smelled that English breakfast tea. Mm. Thank you, guys. Y'all are so kind. They're the ones that sent Mama the pepper jelly, David's pepper jelly, um, and Mama calls them the California guys. And she worries about them when the Californians have trouble, fires, or anything. And she'll ask me, have you heard from the California guys? Are they doing okay? <laughs> Listen, I'm going to tell y'all. I, I can't name y'all individually. Uh, Mama worries about y'all. Y'all are her people. You're her family. And it's just like part of the family, really. If something's going on and she knows some of y'all live in you that part of the world. Taste of that apple soup. It's That's the only thing it would have to be. She knows some of y'all live in that part of the world. She worries about y'all. And she asks about you. Have you heard from them? Are there many? Now, the DM, the, the messages you see in on here, she reads with the other ones, I have to tell her about. But she always asks. If you are on this these will probably be back, but they're still a little prime. I need to cook it a little longer in the microwave. Right. I don't want to mush you, though. I give them about three more minutes in the microwave, and then they'll bake. Well, we can't keep them on here until we <laughs> bake the dressing, though. Well, they may not get to see the finished dressing. I don't know if it takes too long. That's the reason we try to speed it up as much as we could, but you can only do so much, folks, for real time cooking. It's not the magic of TV here. We don't pull a finished product out from out of the counter. You know, they'll stick one in the oven and they'll say, do the magic of TV. Ta da. We never would get all that ate. Sometimes cooking seven days a week, we find ourselves overwhelmed with some good leftovers. But we we'll freeze them, share them. We don't dispose of them lightly. We make sure that something good happens with them. How's the other stuff, Mama? It's all ready, y'all, except we have to wait on every time to the dressing. We're gonna make the, this dressing thin. It won't take much, but we probably won't keep y'all on here till it's baked because it's gonna have to bake 10, 15 minutes. Um, but we can show you a picture of the finished product. Uh, but the making of it so you can make your own. I think everybody knows once it comes out of the, out of the oven, it's done. I think Mama will have to pee Ready? Okay, you me pour it. Huh? I can. Is that him? Mmm, look at that rich tea. Now we'll rinse this and get this tea bag good and cleaned out. Can y'all see? Don't let me mess up. You ever tried to pour something backhand it over to the left and upside down? 
So now there's about this much room left. So we'll put that tea bag in there, run some filtered cold water over it. Let it stir around a minute, give it a mash or two, and then finish filling up this pitcher. Now that ice is already melting in there. Mmm, that peach is already smelling oh, delish. I get it work sometime uh -oh. I get to thinking about. Mmm, um, I want to pick up a glass of peach ice tea. And I could take it to work probably next time, but who's got time for that? There it is, folks. Easy, easy peasy. Y'all's sweet tea. Now, I'm going to stir down in here, make sure all that beautiful sugar that Mama put in there is going to be mixed in. Y'all have one of these grease strainers for your deep fryers. They're wonderful for tea because it lets it. And it also lets the sugar and everything mix so good. Gets that ice to churning in there. And this pitcher is designed not to have an overspill. So you see I'm hitting this real hard. It's a stout, sturdy pitcher. Look at that tea. It ain't going nowhere. I mean, really, how hard do I have to go to get it from over the top? I don't know. It ain't never happened. So here comes the rest of the dress. So here is my uh, crumbled oven. I don't find the crumb. I don't stand and do this. I break it up in there and be done with that. And look at that goodness. Look at that goodness. These are our Old Faithful Terry Cloth Hot Hutters from my youth. And I'm going to pour, can y'all see this and pour it upside down backwards again? Right over that bread. Now these are heat, heat safe bowls. So you want to make anchor sure you're... Baking bowls too. These are Anchor Hockey. You can find them on, on Amazon. Go to our link when I show you at the end and you can go in there and just look up Anchor Hockey mixing bowls or their glass. Nothing fancy, just your average run of the meal. Uh huh. I always got one more gift to show them before we get off from here. I don't have no more gifts, Mama. That's you. The soap and stuff over there. Oh, you got some soap. So I'm just going to put a little bit more bread in here. It's just a tiny bit loose. But I don't ever use all my bread, I always save it. Save enough, if I have too much juice, too much looseness, I can tighten it up with a little bit more bread. Some of y'all have used cornbread, but you never use pone bread. This is old fashioned pone bread. This is a biscuit that you pour into a skillet, just like you do cornbread. You just make the same, since you don't have to fill with it as much, you don't have to work it up. You just simply um, pour it in that Skillet. And look how nice and moist. It's really moister than a biscuit. There's no trouble to it. You don't have to be able to necessarily make the biscuits, work the biscuits. You and it's a lot looser. You do it when it's wetter. So it's very easy to make a palm bread. And that's the reason a lot of mamas done it back in the day because they had to get separate on the table. They had several kids at foot and they want to just get that bread done so they make up their biscuit bread pour it in the skillet and stick it in the oven we'll worry about cutting it up later they think but we've always made it for dressing and we've always we make it for supper a lot of times 
That's the only time, I'll tell you, this is the truth. That's the only time we make biscuits is right. for biscuits and gravy. Everything else is pound bread. Ain't that right, Mama? Yeah, a lot of times, yeah. A lot of times, because it's so easy. I like the way he goes, as long as I can wait, I'm going to get me some tea. Oh, get me some too, Mama. This is delicious. Mama, I want you to taste this. It don't, it looks like it needs more sage. And I'm not putting any salt or pepper. Here's your spoon. I guess that no sense to taste it until I put salt and pepper, is there? Oh, you didn't put salt and pepper. A little black pepper, this is just table pepper. And I'm gonna use a little salt. And mama, you wanna try it for the sage content? Yeah. You stir in this, now see it's just right now. By putting that rest that little bit of cornbread and that rest that pound bread. This is what I'm looking for. I want it to cut and stay. When I do that, I want it to stay. I want to be able to see my bow. See there? I can still see it. That's how I know it's good. All right, Mommy. I'm going to taste it right here. I got, you. I got one here. I think I have it. I was wrong. I don't think it needs anything. Mm -mm. What do you think? Put it in that pan. Let's bake it. It's absolutely delicious, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's absolutely delicious. You don't need a thing. Don't put it real thick. It'll bake quicker. I'm like two pans. Now, Mama sprayed this with um, what? Baker's Joy or what? Uh, canola oil. Canola oil. Had to think a second. Canola or, or avocado? Canola, I think is what that was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got definitely enough for two pans. Mm -hmm. Because I definitely made too much. But here's what we'll do. We'll freeze one of these pans. And we'll eat this, enjoy it. And then... The first cold weather diet, when we're having baked chicken, or Mama will say, you know, we got that dress in, in there we could use, and I say, drag it out, let's eat it, Mama. Mm -hmm. And we'll be ready to go in a moment's notice, what we, Mama? Yeah. Or I could drag it out and eat it for my lunch. Um, you know, this right here is all Mama requires for her lunch, is this and a little bit of gravy and a little bit of cranberry sauce. and. I'm ready to go. Now that's pretty thin. Oh, well, it won't take long. Yet, it. it won't take long to bake, but it'll probably take long on you all got. So we will, I'll grab a picture of it and I'll post a picture in the comments to show you the finished product. That is ready for another pan. Now let's get on some serious uh, the soap sweet tea. Stuff show them. Mm. I don't want to leave these out. It's ridiculous how good this is. Oh, I couldn't hardly wait for it to get done because we didn't help. And here's enough. the thing. You see that ice? It's cold. It's because you put all that ice in there. You can literally make this while your bread's heating. While anything's going on. And have it to drink in moments. You don't, I mean, like we used to make tea, it had to cool down before you even put it in the refrigerator. I don't know why we didn't figure out we could use an ice back then. You all had to give us a... Now, who got this for your mama? It's on there, ain't it? Sherlyn Loudermilk from Texas. Sent mama. Now, mama loves these. I like these. These are pure goat milk. It's the Beckman Brothers since 1802 and they're facial wipes. 
You can throw these in your vehicle. Have them. They smell, I call it, chemically clean. It's, it doesn't smell flowery. It doesn't smell bad. You just smell fresh. Whatever fresh would smell like, I call it this. It smells like your house does when you come in and it's all clean and it's wonderful. Not rosy, not flowery. It's good for men or women. It's wonderful. This is the face and cleaning one. And in the summertime, who don't need your face wiped off when you get it? When it's hot, you're just sweaty and tired. Oh, there's nothing better than getting your vehicle, grabbing one of these and wiping down. And, thinking, oh. and I'm not selling these. I'm just telling you all these. So, Sherlyn, Louder Milk, we appreciate you. That is wonderful. And she got all these. These are wonderful. Pure goat milk. These are uh, creams, facial creams. That's This here is Vanilla Absolute. And this here is Honey Red Grapefruit. I can't even imagine what that would smell like. It's sealed up. I want to unseal it. I don't smell anything there. Plus, she sent these bars of soap, Beckman goat milk. This is pure goat milk soap, Beckman Brothers. Beckman Brothers, if you're out there, call me. <laughs> I would love to sponsor your product. I love your product that well. Been using it for years. It's great, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mama loves it. We love it. We use it. And this is flour milk. Flour market. Goat milk. Wonderful. Thank you, Sherlyn. Thank you so much, Sherlyn. You couldn't have bought Mama anything she enjoys much more. Because she keeps them in her car, too, and she uses them in her bedroom. Do you take your makeup off of them? Yeah, when I wear makeup. <laughs> your lipstick that you wear occasionally? I need to wear my makeup when I wear it occasionally. You need to add a little eye cream on or something? I've not had no eye cream in a while since my eyes. It's like this. I'm afraid to put anything on it. Hey, you're inhaling it. <laughs> That's the tiny little glass. Mama, I'm not sure what we should do. I'm sure y'all don't want to wait. Let's sell that at my Oh, you sell it? PJ says they sell it at their drugstore. PJ, you know what I'm talking about, how wonderful it is. It's great. Praying Randy. Randy, I don't know what's going on, but we'll be praying for you. We'll look it up. I don't know who is. Beckman Soap is awesome. Debbie, it is. Wonderful. And we're not affiliated with Beckham. Don't think, well, here he is trying to sell us some stuff. I'm not. I'm just doing a product review. Uh, we sell Tupperware, and we do uh, enjoy sweet, Young Sweet Tea brand. And they oh. do sponsor us, as they do many cooking shows, because it's so good. You're but you can sweet. guarantee we won't be affiliated with nobody. We don't like their product. I wouldn't come on here and lie for nothing. If I tell you I like it, I like it, whether I'm affiliated with it or not. Beckham is one of those products. I love their product, not affiliated in any way, other than liking their product. It's so good. It is a, a good quality product. Oh, but this y'all's too. You know, Mama, if I ain't mistaken, it may have been last Sunday since I had any y'all's peach tea. Oh no. Did you make some this week? I sure. You just drank it and forget it. I was wanting it this morning and they wasn't nothing to drink, so I made enough of it to drink. I can drink y'all's coffee and y'all's sweet tea sometimes. Well, I'm making some tea. We're going to be about 15 more minutes before we eat, so we're going to go ahead and say goodbye to y'all and let y'all get on with your afternoon. Hi, Peggy.
We showed them all of the Love dressing. So now you know how to make some dressing. If you want to make this some. And you know about that baked chicken. We just put it in there. She just washed it good. Put salt, pepper, butter. And baked it. And a little poultry seasoning. And a little poultry seasoning. And she baked it for about three hours. Yeah, put it on this morning. And we're going to have mashed potatoes and, and uh, peanut green beans. That's all we're having. And that gravy that you saw me use those double packs. And cranberry sauce. And oh, cranberry sauce. Cranberry. Whole cranberry. Ocean spray right out of the can. And I already made it. You done opened it. You didn't make uh -huh, it. I made it. I put it in a bowl and I stirred it up. <laughs> I didn't say the difficulty factor of it. Come over here and tell them goodbye, Mama. We'll let them go because it's going to be, that dress is going to be 15 more minutes. Oh, it's when it's not even started getting brown yet. No. Let me see what it looks like. It ain't there. Mama's wishful thinking. No, it ain't even started. Yet. We've got to quit keeping y'all on here just because it takes a while to cook stuff. We'll just start showing you some pictures. Uh, because we don't want to keep things too long. It'll be 20 or 30 more minutes. Yeah, we've been on here that long. All right, Mama, you got anything you want to add today? Oh, I was going to show my stack of birthday cards. I forgot. We may be here when the dressing oh. is finished. No, it may not. What did I do with them all? Mm. Judging from that stack, I'll I'm be done eating I'm not going to read them dressing. all. I was just going to show them. I'll be finished eating dressing by the time we get out here today. No, I've just got a whole big stack of birthday cards here. Look how wonderful. Beautiful, beautiful cards. I wanted to thank everybody that sent one and stuff. And and I said, they're just beautiful. Uh, the envelopes and cards and all of it is just all beautiful. Pretty birds. It's just, I can't tell you how much I do appreciate them. I've read them and I may sit and read them all again before I put them up. <laughs> And you make it about in a year or so and read them all again. When I go through papers and what I call myself a cleaning, I'll get out a few things and I'll sit down and start reading and <laughs> don't do much cleaning. <laughs> so that's what So I now mean. we know the problem. Yeah. You know the problem with the house. I'm going to sit her down and read. But I, I wish you'd read a card instead of cleaning right up under me and taking stuff out of my hand to try to wash it. Well, I have to keep it cleaned up for you. She's a cleaner. Oh. So she cleans all the time. Thank I can't. everybody for the precious. She'll be washing this cup while I'm breaking my last drink out of it. Oh, I will not. <laughs> I just want to thank everybody for the gifts and all the beautiful birthday cards. And Happy birthday wishes and thank everybody for all the prayers they have for me, especially through my eye surgery and stuff. They are getting better. The left one, the right one's fine. <laughs> and I want to thank y'all for loving my mama. Loving her and appreciating her and sending her things. You know, it don't have to be anything major. Mama loves a card. She loves a note. She loves anything. Um... She's the easiest person in the world to buy for. She's not buy for all the time. I'm not picky. I appreciate everything. No, she ain't picky. I bought her some some sunglasses. Mama's never really been a sunglass wearer that I remember. No, but, but since my glasses that I did wear had the tint, she can't go outside with that man. I got used to. You want to show them your latest ones I bought your mama? They're nothing. They're back there. No, the ladies. They're just standing. I just got my pants on. Can't put on sunglasses. But I bought her some. I told her these the were the other her, ones. The ones I'm wearing. I told her these were her movie star glasses. She would never pick these out for herself. She said, "No, I don't these want are the size of them. Are pretty. These is the last one she got me. The others I've got in there. Don't she look <laughs> like a movie star? My, my grandma. My um, mom is one. She, uh, her eyes is like, or my eyes is like hers. They water and the light bothers them. And she would wear sunglasses all the time. And I'm going to get her a scarf that she can wrap around her head. And 800, her 80 years old. She's 80 something years old. She wore 
and she had this fur, it wasn't really fur, it was imitation, I think, but fur coat. And I remember when I was a little girl, she was in town and some young teenager and stuff said, she thinks she's a movie star. <laughs> so if you out in public and you see Mama, and you think, that woman can't be Mama, that woman looks like a big fly. And, coming at me with them big glasses. And I never did forget that. And I thought to myself, girls just don't know. She has trouble with her eyes. <laughs> and I didn't appreciate them. But I don't guess they... You don't hold the grudge, so do you, Mama? No, but I don't guess they mean nothing by it. But I thought this making fun of my grandma. See, this is as flashy as Mama would probably get. It's got a little something here on the side. <laughs> so, you know, Put them on movie star and tell them bye. Oh, wow. I'm gonna make her wear them while we eat. <laughs> you know, I can't see my food. <laughs> Just so I can say I had lunch with a movie star. <laughs> oh, they wouldn't say that about me now. Back then, they didn't wear sunglasses much, especially older people. I ain't never seen, this is probably normal for everybody else, but I ain't never seen Mama and big old sunglasses. <laughs> Not me, I never wore <laughs> I'll have to introduce myself to people. But they have her eyes, and that's what matters. Let me tell you, last Saturday, I had on a pair Oh, of <laughs> but yeah. I had on a pair of Johnny. They're not here. This is what we went uh, last Saturday running around with. You think I, these are big? And I said I. Now these, these that she said, she said they were mine. I don't wear them. These are some I bought to go over top of regular glasses and. Uh, and they're big. And I said, <laughs> I'm telling them I felt like that little cartoon fella or whatever it is. It has. Either big round glasses or big square glasses. I said I felt like that. You should have. And believe me or not, I went through town and, and to yard sales and other with these big glasses on. We were stomping around at the Amish farm. <laughs> <laughs> they probably got a few lives, but it was good. My put your, eyes was put your lipstick on with them. Here she is running around that bright red lipstick and that big. I said, Mama, you're going to get us thrown off this farm. She said, What did I do? I said, Well, Mama, I don't think they like that kind of stuff. She said, What? I said, Well, you got them big strawberry red lips and them big old glasses. Oh, should I go get in the car? She said, I said I'm just kidding. So I went out on Amazon. I found her something a little different. Uh, so. I wasn't ashamed to wear them. It protected It protected eyes. your eyes. You can yeah. still keep them. I can't wear them. Yeah. And if I get glasses, I can wear them over my glasses like they're oh. <laughs> And if I have to, I'd wear them again and went through public. I'm not ashamed. No. Thankful I have them. We always have fun. We try anyway. Folks, we're going to say goodbye in uh, that dressing. I can see it still needs browning. Uh, it takes a minute to do dressing. It's going to take, I give, we're going to leave there in 25 minutes at least. And it's just been there about eight, nine. All right, Mama, get over here and don't embarrass us in front of the whole family. I don't have to come these glasses. But I don't care. They serve the purpose anyway. You look cute in them, I yeah. think. Even if they did. Was it Mr. Magoo? I don't know. It's a cartoon character. Mrs. Magoo. I said I felt like the little cartoon character, which one ever it was. <laughs> big old glasses. They stickled in my head. <laughs> but they worked. Yep, they helped me. That's what counts. <laughs> all right, Mama, tell the folks goodbye. Goodbye, Mama, and God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day today. Bye. Y'all be blessed. Bye. -bye.